guys. Now today I'm back here at the Macquarie University Lizard Lab and you've seen me over there many times filming some videos with all those setups there. But today we're going to check out the new outdoor lizard enclosures along with a whole bunch of new animals, some awesome species and a little bit about the science that's going on at the moment. So let's take a bit of a tour of the newest part of the facility and that starts right here. These are the new large lizard enclosures. They're all concreted down into the ground, nice and secure. And these are big high sided enclosures where we can keep things that, you know, might be a bit more jumpy or anything like that. At the moment, there's a bunch of bearded dragons in here all hanging out doing their thing. So we've got 60 new bearded dragons here at the lab. And the reason we need so many is you need a high sample size so you can really get the most out of your data. You need as many repeats as possible and as many animals in the data set so you can get the most reliable results. Now we've got the 60 bearded dragons here, all males and females, all pretty much adults or near adults. And these guys are part of a new study here at the lab where we're gonna be looking at social learning. So we're gonna teach a few of them how to do a certain task in order to get a reward. And then we're gonna bring those ones out here with the rest of them. And we're gonna see if they teach these other ones out here who have never been trained before how to do that task. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Now these beardies came from a university over in Canberra. Most of them are big chunky animals like this one here. But every now and then you get a little tacker like this guy right here. And I absolutely love them, they're so cute. This is number 53, as you can see on his number there. Now the beardies are all individually numbered. You can see this is number 49 here. And that's so we can track who's doing what, who's going where, what's all happening with them. Now to stop any potential predators or anything like that, the whole place is actually netted over the top. So it's nice and secure, no birds getting in, no other feral animals getting in, and it keeps the animals nice and safe. Now if we keep going forward, we can head up these stairs. Now up here we're in the brand new tower. This thing is amazing. It's a heightened vantage point that is protected against rain, thankfully, where we can overlook all the study animals, see what's going on, watch them throughout the day, make observations, and it's just a really awesome vantage point to watch the lizards do their thing. And as you saw before, all the animals are numbered out here. So when we take a look out into the enclosure, we can actually see the animals all the way from up here. See, if we look right over there, there's some bearded dragons, and you can see their numbers on their back clear as day. And then with those little quadrant squares that are in the enclosures, we can see who's hanging out where and figure out how they're living their lives, where they're choosing to be, who they're choosing to be with, and everything like that. Sometimes we'll just spend a whole day up here looking down at the lizards with a little notepad, writing down who's going where, what's going on, and recording all that data. So after the tower, we can move on to the newest enclosures at the lab here. These are all the new skink tubs. So over here, I don't even know how many there are. I think there's around 60 or so. These are brand new tubs. These are basically a water trough with some holes drilled on the bottom and of course some shade set up. And this is what I've been sort of laboring over for the last few weeks and months, getting these all finished. And now in here we've actually got, there's one there hanging out, a few different skink species, some water skinks, some white skinks, which is right here in front of me, as well as some black rock skinks. So nice little diversity here and lots of tubs to fill. Now all the skinks we have out here are pretty much all females and their babies. So we're studying family dynamics, so how the mothers and babies respond to each other if they're kept together, if they want to separate and go their own way, as well as babies, if babies will combat, and etc. Things like that. It just goes on and on and on. So many things to look at, especially when you have a little white skink like this that can have three or four babies at a time. So here we have a little baby white skink. It's gotten quite a bit bigger than when it was born. These guys put on weight like crazy. They love their crickets and other things as well. But these are some of my favorite little skinks here. They have such beautiful coloration and they're just a really good, well-natured little skink. They're not horrible like water skinks that love to escape or <clears throat> burrow and make it everything difficult for you. The white skinks are good. They're out, they love to bask and look pretty. And they're just a great little skink all around. Now in this enclosure we have the black rock skink, Agurnia saxatilis. Now like most Agurnia, these guys absolutely love rock crevices. They sort of have enlarged scales and spines and things. Not as much as some of the other Agurnia, but they still love wedging themselves in those rock cracks and getting there feeling nice and secure and safe. So if I lift this, there's a skink. <laughs> They're a pretty cool little skink. This is an adult female. And they have that beautiful black coloration, very dark. Sometimes a bit of pattern, 
Yeah, they're really cool little animals. Now as a bit of a bonus for you guys, I thought I'd come inside to the indoor lizard area and show you guys another little species we have here at the lab at the moment. These are actually some baby Cunningham skinks. So again, another Agurnia species, absolutely adorable and very feisty little animals. These guys are packed on the size as well. They're some of the cutest and coolest looking little baby skinks you can ever see. Absolutely amazing. Now again, just like the other Agurnia, these guys love their rock crevices and things like that. And these guys have a lot of those enlarged spines and things to help them wedge in there so nothing can pull them out and are a very popular animal here in captivity. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed checking out the Lizard Lab's new outdoor enclosures, new animals and all the new things that are going on. Now make sure you follow the lab on all their social media and everything like that. Check out their website, it'll all be linked in the description below. Otherwise, if you want to see more Australian reptiles and things like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, give the video a like, leave any comments below, and we'll see you next time.